Hey guys, it's John Jim here, it's time for another video and as you can see from the title, this is my 2016 Christmas haul as I do every year. I show off all the prezzies and cool stuff that I got and this year I got a lot of really cool stuff and I literally have a pile here of all my Christmas presents so I'm just going to randomly grab them and show you guys what I got. So the first two items are connected. I have some Pusheen items. Now I'm not a big fan of like Hello Kitty but Pusheen is actually quite cute and I've got this little mug which is quite cute uh, I'm not really someone who drinks hot drinks but I definitely will get out of use of it when I want hot chocolate or something but it's really cute and the next one is actually even cuter it is a Pusheen lip balm um, which I'm definitely going to use because I'm always using lip balm and when it runs out I might just stick a new lip balm in it because the, the packaging is just a... next I have some manga now I didn't find a couple of volumes at Hard Japan because United Publications unfortunately didn't have a lot but I have two new volumes, which is Arpeggio of Blue Steel Volume 8 and Kamiga Kill 8. Now, uh, I know this one is slowly heading up to the end of the anime and Arpeggio, I can't quite remember because uh, it's been a little while since I've read a bit of manga. So I do need to catch up, but I'm pretty much um, caught up with all the manga that I need to buy for this year. So yeah. Next, I have a Christmas present that I actually bought for myself. Uh, basic story is my boyfriend wanted a game and it is in fact a co-op game and no one else wanted to buy it and I bought something which I really um, is something I would not have bought by myself. So yeah, this is Dying Light. It's basically parkour with zombies. So if you've ever played Mirror's Edge or um, Dead Island, it, they basically combine the two. Uh, but this was really cheap off shop too. And I played a little bit. The controls are really fiddly like Mirror's Edge. So I'm still pushing all the wrong buttons, but I've only played it for about an hour. So hopefully, um, you know, I'll get better at, it at it and not be scared by zombies too much. But I haven't got to the nighttime mode, which I'm really worried about. But we'll see how we go. Next is two films which uh, I really, really wanted now. To be honest, a lot of people are going to really hate these films. It was either a sort of love or hate situation with these films. And they had a lot of uh, criticism online and everything but I don't care, I really really love these films and I finally have them on Blu-ray. The first one is probably the most hated one and it is Ghostbusters. Um, so yeah, I really like Ghostbusters. Uh, I saw it in the cinema, I've never been a fan of Ghostbusters but I saw this one, really enjoyed it and I have the extended version which is really nice so it's got a bunch of extra scenes and I will probably watch it a couple of times because I really enjoyed it. So next one is the film I really, 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 really like, like a lot. Like every year I seem to have an obsession with something like last year it was Miku. This year it's uh, Suicide Squad. So yeah, I've never seen a DC movie apart from Batman and Robin, which is probably the worst one out of them all. Uh, but I watched Suicide Squad, I really, really liked it. And I'm actually doing a half cosplay from it, which will make sense in a bit when I show you Another Christmas present that I got, but I've got the extended. So yeah, I've got the extended version, which has a bunch of extra stuff. So I'm literally just gonna watch everything on this because, like I said, I'm obsessed with this. Next, I have uh, two DVDs. Well, one's DVD and one's Blu-ray of some anime, which I don't really buy anime much unless I really, really like the series. But these are Christmas presents, so I will definitely watch them. The first one is one I watched quite a while, and I don't really remember much about it. Because it is Brynhilde in the darkness. Now this is by the same people who made Elfin Lead. I really love Elfin Lead. It was one of the first animes I watched. Um, but yeah, like I said, I can't really remember much about it. But I know it was a pretty good series. And I gave it quite a good rating. Because I gave all my animes a rating. So I will definitely have to uh, watch it. And uh, see how much I actually remember about it. And the next one is one I definitely know I like. Because we were planning to do... Uh, cosplays from it but we haven't quite figured out when and this is Wish Upon the Pleiades now I did actually do a figure unboxing of Subaru which is the pink haired girl here who is probably one of my favourites out of all them but yeah I really like this series I didn't even know it came out on well this is DVD and Blu-ray bonus like collector's edition um, so yeah I didn't even know it was out but it's only got a uh, Japanese audio with English subtitles so unfortunately it doesn't have a dub but it's a really good series. Might as well continue on with the DVDs and stuff. I put a couple of TV series on my uh, Christmas list and this was one of them. So yeah, this is Hannibal. I really, really like Hannibal, like quite a lot. And I wanted to rewatch the series and I thought, well, you know what, let's put it on my Christmas list. Uh, so yeah, this is the DVD set, all three seasons, 
with a bunch of bloopers and extras so I'm definitely going to have to sit down and re-watch the whole of it because I watched it over the years that it came out but if you like Gore and Hannibal then definitely check this out because I've not seen any of the Har Hannibal films but this is really good. On to some comics, now I haven't got the whole set which uh, means I'm probably going to have to buy it and buy the other three but I actually got the Suicide Squad comics this is the new 52 and my friend who didn't like the suicide squad film but he likes comics he suggested these ones to me because i don't actually own like any comics apart from i zombie um so yeah i'm gonna read these see if they're any good and then buy the last three volumes because there's only five in the series next i have um some things that i was originally going to buy like ages ago but i thought you know what i'll wait and I might just get the key ring ones because I don't have much room for figures in my room but it just so happened I got the um, pop figures for Suicide Squad so yeah this is the double set of um, Harley and Joe Pitt in their sort of main outfits like there are so many pop figures for this series but yeah it's nice I've got a two set and I kind of don't want to take them out of the box because they're quite nicely presented together in this box so I might just keep them together and then put other pop figures on top yeah, they're really really cute and uh next i actually have something which wasn't on my christmas list and i completely wasn't expecting but my family know that i'm quite arty and stuff and it just so happens even though i don't need them i got a giant box of um pens and pencils and stuff which is really cool because i'll definitely use them all and um i really don't need more art stuff but you know it's free art stuff i'm really not complaining so Next, I've got a few um, crafty things. I actually asked for some more um, sewing pins and bobbins for my sewing machine because the amount of time is a break and with the amount of cosplay stuff that I'm gonna be doing um, next year, I'm definitely gonna need these. So this is just a silly, useful item which I'm definitely gonna get a use out and it saves me buying like six million of them. So uh, yeah, with uh, some of which I've got, I've put on my Christmas list. And it is the study belt. Now, I don't know if you've noticed a theme, or, but I really like Suicide Squad. And I have my belt. And I also have a baseball bat. Uh, which means I'm doing a cosplay from it, but I'm not actually doing Harley Quinn like everyone else has done. So basically, I really like um, Harley Quinn as a character. And I want to do a cosplay from Suicide Squad, but I've also wanted to do a cosplay from Overwatch. So what I'm actually doing is combining the two and I'm doing a Diva Quinn cosplay and I've currently been working on it and I'm pretty much almost finished I just need to make a few accessories for the cosplay and I'll be uploading a video on my YouTube because it seems like everyone likes my cosplay videos and they're the most fun to make so um, once I've actually got everything together I will be uploading a Diva Quinn cosplay tutorial type thing which I always do so um yeah if you want to check that out and I don't know when it's going to be uploaded but I will get around to it as soon as possible because I need it for February so that is it for my Christmas haul I've got a bunch of stuff which I'm definitely going to use like 99% apart from the mug I don't know when I'm actually going to use it but the point is I've got some really cool stuff I'm really happy with all my presents and I definitely have a lot of watching to do don't know when I'm gonna get around to that but hopefully you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the new year with hopefully my first video being my diva quitting cosplay video so yeah I shall see you in the new year see ya